Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. This is going to be another First Impressions video. In today's First Impressions video, we are taking a look at this Palmetto State Armory PA-15 a2. And before we get this video started, I just want to give a huge shout out to this video's sponsor. You guys probably know them already, but they are Seal One. They have been sponsoring my channel now for actually, I think, over a year, and they are one of the biggest helps here on Firearm Freedom. I can't thank them enough. They make a wide variety of cleaning and maintenance supplies for firearms, and that is going to include a non-toxic and bio-based liquid and paste. They even got a Sub-Zero CLP for that, which is going to do great. In the cold months of the year, it's going to ensure that your rifles don't get all gummed up and stop working. They got bow care products and pretty much everything in between. They're even now featuring a brand new cleaning kit with a rod and a few other things. And it is awesome. It smells great, cleans even better, and I have been using their stuff for years. They're actually also giving you guys a discount code for watching this video. That discount code is FF-25, FF-25 at checkout, and that's going to save you 25% off of your order. The Palmetto State Musket. Absolutely love this thing. That's <laughs> I could I could just stop the video there. You can't beat a modern day musket. And that is kind of what I consider a more M16 A2-ish rifle like we have here. This is one of the PA-15 series that has their standard nitride barrel. It does not have the FN cold hammer forged barrel. Of course, we have a standard 20-inch A2 setup. Most of you guys are going to know this by now, but I think the most interesting thing about this rifle for what you're getting is the price point. This thing is coming in at like sub 900 bucks, which is pretty good for a complete rifle. We're going to get into how it shot but before we do that of course full disclosure what is my relationship with palmetto state armory so they did send me this rifle for free for a few months to check out for this review they did not ask me to say anything positive i could break this rifle i could make a, a video talking about how terrible this rifle is and send it back they are fine with that provided it is just good honest feedback and that's why i continue to work with palmetto state armory now i will include a link down in the bio and also the comment section to my campsite page that's going to have a bunch of different links. The first link is going to bring you to where you might be able to find something like this and anything you pick up like this is going to give me a little bit of a kickback on the channel, which of course I seriously appreciate, but that does not go into making this video biased in any way. You guys know I'm still going to give you my honest opinions. I have wanted an A2 20 inch for quite some time and Honestly, I don't know why it's taken me this long to pick one up here on the channel. I, I've shot them so many different times. I have a massive love for a retro AR. That's just kind of my thing. And I've been running iron sights more and more and more lately. So it's kind of like meant to be that I would have an A2. And I finally got one. If you've never shot a 20-inch a2 variation before they shoot and recoil about like a 22 it is probably the best barrel length that you could ever have for this caliber in fact 20 inches is around what the 223556 was kind of designed for so you're getting also the best ballistics out of this barrel length compared to any other barrel length that is out there for a standard AR-15 of today's world. Palmetto State does a great job at just replicating an A2. You have an A2 standard length stock, and this is a new A2 stock, which they do a really good job on. When it's compared to the surplus A2 stocks that are out there, they do have more of a grayish coating on the plastic portion of the stock, whereas the Palmetto State stock is all black. To be honest with you, I think the black looks a little bit better on this rifle. We have a standard M4 slash A2 style pistol grip with the nub. To be honest with you guys, I've talked about this before. I actually really like the nub, and I know that's blasphemy in today's world. But if you know how to use the nub to your benefit, even if you have large hands, it works out pretty good. So you don't want to shoot it like this. 
you want to shoot it up and squeeze both your fingers under it like that. And that provides quite a bit more tension on the grip. It's going to raise your hand up and give you a lot more control on the rifle. If you use it like that, you actually might come to really enjoy the A2 grip, but it's going to come with that. It's also going to come with the detachable carry handle. It does not come with an aluminum mag, although Palmetto State, I wish you would include an aluminum mag that just looks at home on this rifle. It's going to include a standard Magpul. I think it's a Gen 2 Magpul mag, just regular P-Mag, not a huge deal there. And and it's going to have A2 clamshell hand guards up at the top, and it will come with a birdcage flash hider and not a Silencer Co. three-prong ASR mount on the end. A lot of the times you'll see PSAs a little bit over gassed to run a wider variety of just crappy target ammo from the really expensive stuff, and in this case it was gassed perfectly. Overall fit and finish of the rifle, again, I, I'm having a really hard time finding any complaints about it. You have a standard nitride bolt carrier group and the overall fitment on the upper and lower is good. I was actually just about to point out, maybe it's not that bad on this side, but it's actually lining up pretty good. Safety detent feels very strong, very positive, and you'll notice there's not really a ton of droop. When I put it into the safe position, it goes into safe and stays there. So that's nice. Same thing with fire. It doesn't overhang one way or another because of some QC issues. The factory mil spec trigger is all right. I would say it's about standard on the industry for a mil spec trigger, so not really any complaints there. Standard 4150 nitride barrel, and it is not cold hammer forged or chrome lined. So that's one thing that a lot of people might want and look for in these rifles. PSA does offer an upper like this that does have the FN cold hammer forged barrel, which I'm kind of interested in taking a look at in the future. But this is a one in seven barrel twist, which I think these days is kind of the preference, especially when it comes to a 20 inch rifle. We did not get a chance yet yet to take this thing out past that like 75 yard distance. I was only shooting about 40 yards and in for this first impressions range day like we generally do. But I am very curious to see how this rifle performs Man, that with that one in seven standard nitride barrel past 100 yards. I love the sight picture on a 20 inch AR. You're getting great long sight picture with the fixed iron sights, which again, I know the industry is kind of all about red dots nowadays, which makes total sense. A red dot is a phenomenal choice. A lot of my defensive guns have red dots on them for their speed, for their accuracy at distance without having to deal with magnification. I am not discounting the red dot. I think it's still interesting that if your eyesight is still okay and you're not needing some pretty hardcore glasses, Iron sights are still a Let's great choice and they're not relying on anything. There is no batteries. You don't have to worry about washout. They are just going to work in every single condition. And for the most part, if your iron sights go down in this case, your rifle is probably down as well. So you have pretty much a heavy A2 contour all the way throughout the barrel. Yeah. It yeah, is going to give you a like, government yeah, cut is. there towards the end. And although this is their nitride, barrel, it, it has a little bit more of a matte finish, which I like. I don't know if that's just because there's kind of not much oil left in the barrel, but usually with their nitride barrels, you have this like really dense, shiny nitride look to it. And I won't lie to you guys, it makes it look a little cheaper. And I think the fat, fact that this is matte for whatever reason makes it look a little better. I think overall at the price point this is coming out at, I, you, you can't, really beat it. If you want an A2, this is about, I would say, almost as good as you're going to get. We'll see how the longevity in the barrel does over time. If you're looking for longevity, then at that point, you're going to want to go with the FN barrel. But guys, that is going to wrap up this short and sweet first impressions video on the PSA PA-15 20-inch A2 rifle. If you guys have any other questions about this rifle or anything else on the channel, please throw them down below in the comment section, and I absolutely will get back to you. While you're down there, head up to the description for the ways to support the channel. And as always, stay tuned for more great videos coming soon.